Hello everybody. Before we go into probability and non-probability sampling techniques, let us have a short recap of the differences between quantitative and qualitative measurements. Below are the measurement process areas, namely measurement design timing, final data form, links of construct to data, and process direction. These are the types of probability samplings. And also non-probability samplings. This slide shows the differences between probability sampling and non-probability sampling. Let us further discuss about non-probability sampling, convenience sampling. This sampling allows researchers to get any cases in any method that is convenient for them. It is easy to reach, convenient, readily available, cheap and quick. However, it is not recommended if you want to create an accurate sample to represent the population. Quarter sampling on the other hand allows researchers to ensure that there are some variety in the sample. For example, in a research, we have representatives from different age groups, gender which are male and female, and also respondents who use a bicycle, car or public transport to get around. Purposive sampling is selected based on characteristics of a population and the objective of the study. It is also known as judgmental, selective, or subjective sampling. This picture illustrates purposive sampling where only the person who suits the characteristic of the researcher is looking for is selected. The last one is snowball sampling. This sampling technique is also known as network, chain referral, or reputational sampling. Researchers use existing study subjects to recruit future subjects from among their acquaintances, which means the researchers will ask for help from the current subject to identify people with similar traits of interest. For more information, feel free to click on the link below. Thank you for watching! Created using Powtoon.